Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today uh, I'm going to be talking about something new and uh, something that I'm going to be selling actually. And this is going to be my graphics pack, um, my original graphics pack. And um, you know, this graphics pack comes with a lot of things. And I wish, uh, and I, and I thought I wanted to, um, you know, show you guys maybe like put it out there a bit because uh, I think I I, I spent a lot of time on this graphics pack. I think you guys will enjoy it. It's only like five quid in the in the store. And that's like five pounds. So I think that's about six dollars and twenty. I'm not sure. You're gonna have to like, um, like go on like currency exchanger for that. But it's a really cheap price, and it's got some really cool and unique things. And I kind of wanted to make it a bit unique, uh, because I see a lot of graphics packs and they're a bit like Adam K's graphics patch, which is like the most popular one out there. So I, I wanted my main, the aim of what I wanted the aim, to, my aim <laughs> to making this graphics pack was to make it original and I wanted it to be like people could see it and they oh yeah like that is a little Adam case by it's, it's pretty good um so yeah it just comes with a message just saying you know thanks thanks for uh, for choosing it and uh because I do appreciate it and uh, I'm just gonna get right into it now so you know to really just get rid of this message just press the I tool and then we'll get rid of it and I'll come up with this background right here and um so first off we have color corrections now I have loads of color corrections. I have like a few. Uh, I made all of these myself, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I've never made color corrections before, so I spent a bit of time on these, and I think they came out really well. So you got all types of color corrections, and more will come in the future. You get free updates with this. Uh, so there's uh, there's a dark color correction, and there's a light color correction, so it makes it kind of like lighter, more kind of more like just lighter really, and makes it stand out a bit more. Uh, like an you got like an old type. Um, color correction so it like makes it like kind of like in in the 60s type of like <laughs> that kind of like old like the black and white and uh this is the blue color correction it's really nice uh this is the fiery color correction it's basically just red the fiery red and there's the green color correction the main one because that's like the color of my my channel and like that's my brand so and uh this is the humid color correction i thought i think this is really nice it adds a really humid look to it and uh, this is the exotic color correction now just just makes everything exotic so it's pretty self-explanatory <coughs> so that's pretty much all of that now these are the neon shapes now these were pretty easy <coughs> excuse me these were pretty easy to make um some of them i didn't make i got them from adam k's pack um <laughs> but yeah i made the neon triangles and the spots but the i mean the neon triangle and the spots but I didn't make these, I changed the color a bit, but I'm pretty sure it's really easy to make these actually. You can just um, use your tool here. So just to save time, I use that. Um, <coughs> so yeah, so these are the smoke textures. These are really nice, found these on the internet. They're really nice little smoke textures that you can add a bit of intensity into your banner. And uh, these are the textiles. Now the textiles um, will really help you out. There's, there's, n you can get normal text, and these are the textiles I created them myself. You can get just normal text with like no borders or anything, and you can get the border text. So they're pretty different. So depending on which one you want to use, and uh, all you got to do to use them is just go into them and uh, decide which one you want. So I want a like a, like a humid yellow one. Just right click it and press copy layer style, and that will copy it for you. So that's that. Um, those are the um the, that's the textiles. And then I have something pretty unique, and this is Smash Glass. I've never actually seen these in a graphics pack before, so I, I thought it was a cool idea. It adds a little intensity to it. So there's some really cool HD textures right here. Um, they're really nice. This is really cool. And yeah, I've seen these uh, around the internet. They look really nice, so I'm going to use these. Um, so these are the particles. These particles are really nice. I found these on, on the internet. Uh, you find most of these on the internet. I did a bit of work with some of them as well. I changed the colors a bit. You know, rubbed a bit out, made sure it was more HD, and uh, yeah. So a lot of work has been done on this. Like this, these look really nice. Um, so yeah, these are some of the textures. There are some really cool um, Starburst textures in here. There are like four type, five, no, four types of textures um, in here. The Starbursts, uh, grunge, and abstract textures, and also patterns. So that's really cool. This is those loads of different really cool Starbursts here. That's really cool. So these are the grunge textures. They look really nice if you want to like blend something in into an image. So these look really nice. Found these on the internet. Most of these are found on the internet, and then I, you know, mess around with the color a bit, make sure it looks nice. I choose gray because they look really. It blends in more of the objects. So these are some really, really nice um, color corrections. I mean, um, um, 
textures. So these are the abstract textures. As you can see, they're really abstract and uh, pretty self-explanatory. They're really nice. Uh, they kind of got a pattern to it, but um, I think the abstract is more of a uh, more, I guess, like I don't know the word, but it's more suitable for it. So these are the pattern textures. They look really nice. You can use these um, in lots of different things, and they look really, really cool as well. So th that's that. Uh, those are the textures. I think they look really nice now. Going on to Cinema 4D renders, renders. Sorry. So. I've chosen blocks and items, so I've made these myself in Cinema 4D. So these are all of the blocks, you know, got flying blocks everywhere. Just look really nice, really randomized and stuff. And uh, you can use those in your banners or your thumbnails. And these are the items. I've enhanced the items a bit, so as you can see, the swords, they, they kind of glow a bit. Uh, so I made them glow so you don't have to do it yourself. They look really nice. I've added a bit of intensity to them. There's a golden apple, pickaxe, and a pokeball as well. So if you guys do Pokemon series, then um, poker pixel mod series and they'll, they'll look really nice so um if you want any items added in later um updates then just make sure to tell me so these are the lights and flares these look really nice so these are the lights they look really nice um like honestly they're really nice i really love them these are, i think i chose these really well like look at these they, they're really really nice as i said um so yeah there's loads to choose from and there's flares as well these look really amazing as well. They're really nice. Uh, they're all green, and um, because that's like the color of my channel. And uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, it looks it looks really cool. So um, these are these screenshots, and I've used these from Adam K's pack um, <laughs> because they they're just really nice. I mean, I couldn't for some reason my PC won't actually like run with shaders that well. I don't know, there's some kind of glitch, and I don't want to like re reinstall my Minecraft and everything. So I've chosen screenshots. I, uh, first off, I was using Prez HD screenshots, but there's something about Adam K's screenshots that are just amazing. Like, look at the cinematics; they're amazing. So, um, if like Adam K sees this or something, which I doubt, like if he sees this and he wants me to like take these down off the graphics, I can do that, and I'll try and find some other ones or make them myself. But um, I, these just look so nice. They look so nice and really cool in your banners. And uh, props to Adam K. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He is amazing. I think he's on a break right now or something. But yeah, so these are the. This is the little thing that I thought was kind of cool. I would add like like little inspirations. So these are like the banners that I made. These are the stuff. These are the. This is the work that you can create with this with this um graphics pack. So it looks, as you can see, you can create some really nice work. Just kind of to, to kind of inspire. The person to like make graphics with this graphic pack it looks really nice as you can see and you can make some killer art and also as a little thing i've added game logos and characters into these so that you got different game logos from different games popular games mainly and you got game characters as well so you can get all of this in this graphics pack all at once and also um in the win file you get um you get text templates and i'll show those to you right now so that's like the psd format and so if I go into my, my documents right here, and let's see, let's go into the Pixel GFX pack. So this is the WinRAR file that you will get, and that's the one that I was just showing you right now. And then it comes with a banner template as well, so uh, I will open that up right now. It's in my other folder, actually. Banner template. So, as, oh, whoops. <laughs> that's the banner that I made for someone else. But the, the file that you will get, it will just come up with the lines and... Um, they'll come up with the lines and that means um, it'll be easier for you to make so if I just get rid of all of this real quick hmm, it's gonna take a while not really <laughs> but yeah I've, I've put this banner template in just to really help you with your um, like your your art so if you're, like, if you're making a banner and you're struggling on what to do this will definitely help you out so as you can see it's got the little margins so the blue margins these margins right here um, tell you like where you where your banner will fit so between this margin this part of the banner and this part it will the, it will fit in on a computer and it will fit the whole thing in on the screen and uh, this this is where you put in all of your work and then look you could choose some really cool color corrections on this and um, this is from the Adam K one looks really nice so yeah you can make color corrections and make it look really really nice so that's that's the banner template thing uh, thing majig and uh, yeah, so next up we have a, a Lightroom. Now this is an, uh, a Lightroom that I created myself. Um, 
Um, you know, it's got the physical sky and everything, and um, it looks really nice, as you can see. And um, I, I didn't create, no, sorry, I didn't create myself. Um, I think I got this off the, I think it was orig originally, I saw someone's video, I think it was, yeah, it was Adam Kane's video, and I saw all of his render settings. They look really nice. So these are the best render settings out there, so you'll get some really high quality render settings. Uh, my mistake there, and you got a physical sky as well, so check that out, it's really cool. So that's the Lightroom and the Cinema 4D text, I've made these myself. These look really nice. I, as I'm kind of a noob at text, but um, you, you get the idea. They're just simple text. It's just simple text looking, uh, simple looking text, and they look. It looks pretty cool actually. And I'm gonna be creating more little text templates in the future. So in future updates. So if you wanna see more text templates, then definitely go buy this graphics pack. It's really nice. And uh, so that's like the bulky text, and this is like the flat text that you can get. So it's kind of like a different file. So as you can see, look, you got the little depth here. So, um, the depth here, sorry, um, so it's a bit more flat, the other one's a bit more bulky, it's pretty self-explanatory. So, that's pretty much the, the, um, the graphics pack, I mean, I spent a lot of time on this graphics pack, I think it's really cool, I think you'll really like this graphics pack. So, yeah, I made this especially for you guys, so you guys can go and buy it right now, only for £5. And, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you go and buy the graphics pack, and hope you really enjoy using it, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.